How's everybody doing? Good. Well, as he mentioned, we write a lot of songs about history. And most recently, we've been writing a lot of songs about war. And I think when you think of war, you often think of the great battlefields of war. You think of Agincourt, and you think of, um, of Waterloo. You think of Omaha Beach, and you think of Iwo Jima. You think of Vicksburg, and you think of Gettysburg. And with the Civil War, perhaps the most important thing that you think about is Gettysburg. And many of you may be familiar with Pickett's Charge. And uh, the first song we're going to do is about a charge that was actually longer and deadlier than Pickett's Charge. But it's not a, one that's remembered as much. And that was the charge in November of 1864 by the Confederates at the Battle of Franklin in Tennessee. And some historians have argued that that charge is not as remembered because we've lost the space where it happened. In Franklin today, that space is covered with restaurants, and roads and housing developments. Whereas at Gettysburg, you can see exactly what happened and walked that, to that high watermark of the Confederacy. So this song is one of the first songs Vanessa and I wrote about history. And it was inspired by a visit to Carton Plantation at Franklin. And there in November of 1864 was a terrible battle. And five Confederate generals were killed and thousands of men were laid out to die in the front porch of this plantation home. When we visited, we saw a ghost. And it inspired us to think, what would someone who saw what happened there in 1864, what would that person think if they came back today and saw all the changes that had happened to this land? You can now have your wedding there at Carton Plantation. And that struck us as very odd as we looked through their website and saw the pictures of, of a happy couple standing by a tree full of bullets. And we saw a happy couple standing on a porch. It's just like marriage. <laughs> We saw a happy couple sitting on a porch stained with blood. So this is the story of the groundskeeper. One day in June he did remember Blood on the ground as far as he could see The sound of the swords and falling horses The last of an army on its knees They left the guns behind in Franklin The hills were no match for honesty he watched the gray line fall to pieces the rush of the wind in the old oak trees And now the sun shines on these fields No one knows just what he's seen And modern life starves on these highways While he prays, while he prays God save this hallowed ground for me But I'd like to see a little of the past When all of November felt like madness The light in his eyes had finally failed In winter it struck like birds on corpses With atoms and straw and grand booty He walked the front porch just to see them Pass through the columns carefully couldn't remember life before this The last of the army of Tennessee And now the sun shines on these fields No one knows just what he's seen And modern life starves on these highways While he prays, while he prays God save this hallowed ground for me Along these roads for centuries I know the world is changing so fast But I'd like to see a little of the past and They line up chairs like cemetery stones Across this land I once called home and They walk in pairs over blood and bone They kiss under trees got by bullets thrown Their white dress is in the way Their white dress is in the way
One day in June he did remember Blood on the ground as far as he could see Sound of the swords and falling horses, the last of the army of Tennessee. God save this hallowed ground for me. I've walked along these roads for centuries. I know the world is changing so fast, but I'd like. A little of the past Yes, I'd like to see A little of the past Thanks, y'all. So this next song is the story of the Battle of Perryville, Kentucky, which is a site that's now being sold off for a lot of land development. Happened in 1862. It was a very short and swift and quick battle. After the battle, a full moon rose over the battleground, and the Union Army ran through town looking for anyone they could find to help save their troops. They found a man named Dr. Polk, and Dr. Polk had been the town doctor, but he had retired and become a preacher. But they convinced him to help them try to save some of the men. They found a, a barn outside of a house owned by the Goodnight family. And all night under that full moon, Dr. Polk tried to save the wounded soldiers. Mr. Goodnight was a fiddle player, so he played the fiddle and fed the men Tennessee whiskey to try to keep them calm during, uh, during the many surgeries that were happening. This is a song that will be on our new record, and it's a song called Goodnight House. Play me home 
his good night dreams of these good night dreams.